Hi everyone, I am Shrikant. Today's concept is Fivetran and its incremental data load feature. So coming to Fivetran, Fivetran is a cloud-based data integration platform. It enables the sync between various data sources and the data warehouse. And the sync will be like effortless, no coding is needed, and it is automated. So one of the key features of Fivetran is its incremental data load. So what is incremental data load is it's a sync. It enables the sync to happen only with the data that has changed since the last sync. So here we are trying to talk about a scenario where your initial sync has been completed from your data source or data sources to your destination warehouse. And then after that, like whatever new data or any updates to the existing data that happens, even that also has to get synced with your uh, target data warehouse. So we are talking about that scenario and that is called as incremental data load. And in order to make this incremental data load uh, success, we need something called as change data capture. We all keep hearing CDC. So change data capture is the ability to identify the changes made to a previous state of the source okay so in a nutshell this is how the fivetran architecture appears fivetran has come up with all its pre-built connectors uh, when we say connectors this is the core uh, engine or the software or the plugins which actually enable your data to get sync between uh, the source and its destination uh, database. So every database has its own connector, like and then the connectors are again distributed into like databases, events, files, functions, right? Okay, coming to like I mean this is my representation of how Fivetran appears in an organization. So let's say in our in our organization we have a source database and our destination database or data warehouse in our case like let's say the source is in uh, aws on a postgres uh, rds and then we want it to be synced with our data warehouse which is snowflake so in between like we keep this five frame which is again cloud i mean here you can see the representation is in terms of cloud 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 so we all have databases in various clouds so fivetran as itself it's a cloud enabled data integration platform uh, so we need to like make sure that we provide the credentials of both our source as well as destination to fivetran right uh, so once that is uh, happened so for during the initial sync fivetran pulls the data from your uh, source that is called extraction it converts it or it applies the rules based on the connector and it adjusts it or modifies it to the destination uh, uh, warehouse so that is how the sync happens between uh, fivetran uh, in fivetran by using fivetran So Fivetran. So when we say the sync happens, so Fivetran has to, or any data integration platform, it has to like maintain some sort of assets on its data warehouse, right? So in our case, in Fivetran's case, it creates a new table which is called as Fivetran Audit. This gets created in your destination repository. Right, and again, like I mean, we have one more two more new columns for each table get created one the first one is called as Python deleted which is a boolean value which is usually useful for making sure if the row is deleted then it will be like this value gets updated it will enable for a soft delete i'll come to the point later okay and the other one is called Python synced this is a timestamp which keeps track of all the uh, the timing when the row was synced last synced so these are the assets. Fivetran audit is a table that gets created, and then Fivetran deleted and Fivetran sync are the two columns that get created per each table. Okay. So coming to the scenarios that I want to discuss uh, when it comes to incremental data load are like, let's say if we are trying to like insert new rows, right, uh, in our source. 
then how does PyTran make sure that those that those rows get inserted into our destination? Or let's say if there is an update or deletion of already existing rows, then how does PyTran react uh, in terms of what changes does it will it make in the destination data warehouse? At the same time, if we are adding some new columns, which is again a schema level change, uh, in that case, how PyTran reacts and what changes does it make to your destination database? See, when it comes to like even schema level changes, our destination warehouse, it actually uh, will be used uh, by the analytics platform uh, so let's say I mean we are, let's say we are running a dashboard. Okay, so the dashboard I mean the data is already available, and what would happen to the dashboard if the column disappears, right? So and how does Fitran take care of it? So these are the kind of things that uh, I would like to like discuss. At the same time, let's say if we are renaming or deleting existing columns, right? So how uh, how does like uh, Fitran enable the uh, data warehouse? This is a pictographic representation of adding a new rows, updating the rows, deletion of rows, adding new column at the same time, deletion of a column. Right. So here is the interesting topic. When it comes to like incremental data load, we have a few types of incremental data load in ETL world. The first one is called log based, which is a very prominently known incremental data load methodology wherein which a log files will be used in order to like make sure what is the data that got updated or added and at the same time make those changes into our uh, destination data warehouse. Log based data warehouse, uh, log based incremental load is faster and it provides a real time load. At the same time it comes with this complexity of configuration as well as uh, the maintenance uh, uh, hassles. Okay, so coming to the other incremental data load we have snapshot based snapshot based is easy to perform wherein which it takes a snapshot of the state of the data in at your source it compares it with your uh, warehouse and then makes those changes it is easy to perform at the same time it comes with uh, the quality of it is slow and it cannot give you uh, give you some real time updates so now the interesting thing is like what does fitran have to offer uh, does it follow the same log based and snapshot based or does it have anything new? Yes, Python has something called as teleport sync. So this is a proprietary sync methodology of Python. Okay, it comes with the simplicity of snapshots as well as it the approach is like nearly as fast as the log based approaches. Timestamps are not needed. Transaction logs are not, not needed. So that's the advantage of using teleport sync. So this session is about how teleport sync enables, like what are the features the teleport sync uh, comes up with when we enable the Fitran with uh, teleport sync as the incremental load, incremental data load. So, right. So this is the how Fitran teleport sync works. So we have our destination source as well as the data warehouse, and uh, this is where the Fitran is here. It scans and compresses the table state, applies the calculated deltas to the destination. Okay. So how do we choose the incremental data load? So that option is available under the incremental method option when we are configuring Fitran to uh, Fitran's connector, right? I mean, when we are configuring the connector, it will ask us for an option. What is the incremental method option? Then we need to choose the incremental method option as the teleport sync. Okay. So let's say now um, I want to talk about a scenario. So now we have chosen teleport sync as our incremental data load method, method. and then at the source we added or inserted some new rows or updated some existing rows. So how does the incremental or teleport sync work? Okay, so yes, teleport sync as I have mentioned at our destination we will be having some two additional columns, Python deleted and Python uh, uh, sync okay so the blue columns represent those two additional uh, columns that get added 
and at the same time fivetran uh, uh, teleport sync will take care of adding up the new rows as well as updating the existing row so let's say the interesting other interesting topic is what changes does it have when it comes to like deleting an existing row so let's say we deleted one existing row in, in in at our source and during the next incremental sync what does fivetran do so this is what fivetran does so it does not delete any of your existing rows rather it does a soft delete on the data warehouse uh, as i mentioned we have fivetran deleted column so that deleted column which is a boolean value it becomes true so this is how fivetran uh, teleport sync handles deletion of rows where in which it enab it does soft delete by enabling the column fivetran deleted so whenever our analysts who are working or using this uh, table to represent their uh, dashboards let's say on tableau or anything they should be like trying to like use the fivetran deleted column in order to make sure or ensure that the correct rows of data get uh, showed up in the dashboards so let's say i mean we are adding a new column so now this is a schema level change so in case of adding a new column what does fivetran do yes fivetran adds the new column okay uh, as is uh, as defined in uh, your source it adds up the new column and remember like here i am showing something called as null in the last uh, row so this null represents for the column or for the row that has been deleted where in which the fivetran deleted uh, uh, value is true that value becomes null because this data is does not exist no, neither in the source so and in the destination it should become null so that is how fivetran handles the newly added column as well as well as it takes care of uh, the rows that doesn't have value so let's say what happens when we delete an existing column so the here fivetran teleport sync acts a bit differently when you delete an existing column fivetran doesn't delete the existing uh, column at your source rather it nullifies all the values so your uh, the way it is taking care of is like uh, it will not disturb any of your uh, uh, reports by the analysts that are being used i mean let's say if they are using this particular column so this column exists but the values will get nullified right so that is the care that fivetran uh, teleport sync handles so at the same time let's say if you have renamed an existing column this is again interesting okay so when you rename an existing column what does fivetran teleport sync does is like fivetran it creates a new column as you can see the orange uh, colored column is a new column that gets created and it transfers all the data that is uh, named as the previous column's name into this new column and it nullifies the previous uh, column's value so Yes, I mean so. This is how Fivetran handles uh, uh, the data that gets incrementally loaded with all the scenarios that I have mentioned. Okay. So in my next session, I will be, be taking care of uh, uh, working on uh, how do we like do this in a practical session. So yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you.